Hello, hello. Good morning. Girls, come here. We have special visitors today. We've got poo poo. <laughs> Are you going to do the flags in there today? Oh, we'll see what jobs they have. You want to say hi to me? Come here. Come here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's, there's Beatrix. Oh, boop, boop. Come here. Come here. Can you see him? Oh, they miss you. I miss you. We all miss you. Okay, question of the day is, is this, is this, a, okay, look at the time. Does this say nine o'clock or 9.30? Hmm, do you remember what happens when the big hand is up on the 12? We say, o'clock because it's the beginning of the new hour and the small hands first so we say nine o'clock okay if it was 9 30 we would have to go all the way to what number is it six let's double check five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty so if it was 9 30 it would be right there 9.30, but today it is 9 o'clock. If you said 9 o'clock, you're right. Oh, girls. Oh, goodness. They just knocked you over. Knocked us over. Okay. 9 o'clock. All right. Please stand for the flag salute. Bathy, are you flag salute leader today? Okay. Here we go. Put your right hand in the air, in the air. Put your right hand in the air, in the air. Put your right hand on your chin. Oh. <laughs> Put your right hand on your nose. Oh. I can't reach your nose. Put your right hand on your heart, on your heart. Thump, thump. All right, Babby, what do you say? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job! Oh, goodness. She's so heavy. Getting a workout carrying her around. Okay, let's do some calendar. Let's see, I'm doing orange today. Guess what? <gasps> what happened? Where did March go? Bye March, you were a crazy month. Let's move on to something new. April is our new month. January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. New month, April. April showers bring May flowers. So, we don't know what the pattern is, and so I'm just going to tell you. Today is the very first set. So, it's very easy to count, and it's one, one, and look, it's an umbrella because it rains a lot in April and today is Wednesday. The garbage truck came today and he didn't have anybody waving good morning to him. He's sad too. Okay, today is Wacky Wednesday. April, one, two, 
2020 to zero. Two, zero. We have three birthdays this month. We've got Benji. He is on April 20th. We have Miss Elizabeth. She is April 24th. And down here, Miss Ellie Howard. Miss Ellie, you are April 28th. Nice. Well, today's kind of a special day because it's April 1st. And I don't know if you've ever heard of this. It's kind of like a little holiday, but not really. It's called April Fool's Day. And that's when you play tricks on people, but tricks that don't hurt anybody. Just to be silly, like just give them a good laugh. And I've got a good story that I'm gonna to read to you today called Arthur's April Fool. It's funny. Okay, we need a towel. <laughs> Girls, they see birds out there. We want to go chase them. <laughs> okay. We had three tallies yesterday, so we're going to add one more. <laughs> so we're going to have four tallies. I wonder, <laughs> girl, shh, I wonder what we're going to do tomorrow. <laughs> if today is four, tomorrow we're going to cross them out into a bundle of five. <laughs> hey, girl, come here and lay down. Come on. Beatrix. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Tell me, preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather out today? Go look out the window. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snow? Sing it, girls. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather? Do you know? Ladies, come here. Okay. Is it is it sunny outside? I wish. It's so cloudy. Luckily, it's not raining, but I'm ready for some sunshine and some warm weather. Okay, we have a cloudy day to start out the month of April. Ladies, come here. I'm gonna let them outside real quick. Go get it. Bop, bop, you want out too? Okay. Sorry about that. Poop, poop, we'll just let them in when they're ready, I guess, right? Because he can open the door for everyone. Okay, moving along. For days of the week, let's do tiger voices. Ready? Days of the week, rah, rah. Days of the week, rah, rah. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, rah, rah. There's Sunday and there's Friday. Day. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Rah, rah. Days of the week. Rah, rah. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Rah, rah. I skipped something. Oh, that's okay. We're going to go back to it. All right. Days of the week. What is today? Remember, the garbage truck came today. What? Wacky Wednesday, ding, 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 ding. What was yesterday? Tuesday, yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, tomorrow will be Thursday, Thursday. Hey, I already know, guess what I forgot? What did we forget to do? We talked about the tallies, but we didn't count them. The girls started barking and distracted me. We gotta count five fives. And when you get to the 105, you're going to, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109 days of school. 
109. How do I write 109? Tell me. What do I need right here in my 100 spot? We need a 1. What do I need for 10s? Do I have any yet? No, we don't have any. Zero the hero is going to fill that spot until tomorrow. And then today we have nine ones. One hundred and nine days of school. One hundred and nine days smarter. Moving along. Let's hopefully get out of here. Oh, what's our season? Brings our season. Uh, let's change it to, it is cool outside today, but the, uh, the wind is not blowing like it was yesterday, but it's still cloudy, so we're gonna leave that cloudy up there. Okay, moving along. Uh, we've been talking about which country? Asia. We're looking at Asia here. Okay, this is the Asia. We talked about China, we talked about Russia, we talked about yesterday, India, right down here. Did you watch that show on India with the two kids visiting? I'm going to like the elephants and all around the holy uh, festival. Um, so today we are heading to, down here, we move this panda. We're going to this little country right here. And that is called Thailand. Thailand is a pretty cool country because number one, they've kind of they got cool animals. Guess what animals they have? They have in the deep forests elephants, tigers, wild ox, cobras, leopards. Crocodiles, cool animals, okay? They have some really good food. Um, they like to, it's kind of a, an infusion of Chinese and Indian, so it's like spicy noodles with the meat and veggies, kind of like stir fry, but it's spicy hot because they flavor it with hot chilies. They use some lemongrass, ginger, basil, coconut milk. Mmm, that's delicious. So Thai food, I think is delicious. And they have rice as well. Okay. Kids don't get to go to school unless their parents pay for it. So you can't just go to school for free. Your families have to pay for it. So if you don't have any money, the kids can't go to school. So Maybe that's something that one of you one day might go over there and build a school for those kids. That'd be a good goal. So what, one thing that's crazy is they do have farms over there, but they don't farm like what we farm here in America. They have what's called silkworms. They have worm farms. Silkworms spin a silk, okay? That silk is gathered and made into clothes. It's a material. So the farmers feed the worms mulberry trees, mulberry trees, and then they spin the silk, and then you make beautiful, shiny material. It's um, extravagant and people in those countries use it for their, like, their wedding dresses and really nice clothes because it's expensive because worms make it. It's not just like, you know, you go to the store and buy some silk. You have to get it from a worm. We have cows and wheat farms and things like that. But in Thailand, they raise worms for silk. Okay, you ready for the April Fool's story? Um, I am attaching a little video of those two kids again, and they go and visit in Thailand. 
So you're gonna get to see that they live a lot in water and their houses are on stilts and the markets, sometimes they have the boat markets, but watch it and you'll get a good idea of what it's like in Thailand because you've got the city part and you've got the rural parts, which is the fields and the countryside and the jungle part too with the elephants and the tigers. There's so much in Thailand. Okay, Arthur's April Fool by Mark Brown. It was the last day of March. The joke shop was full of people getting ready for April Fool's Day. Arthur and Buster tried out everything. Buster bought sneezing powder. Arthur got a fake telescope that gave whoever looked through it a black eye. But Arthur didn't feel like playing jokes. He kept thinking about Binky Barnes. Who is Binky Barnes? asked Buster. Picture King Kong? Now double it, said Arthur. He keeps threatening to punch me out. The next day, Arthur was practicing his magic tricks with Buster and Francine for the April Fool's assembly. Hey, shrimp! A giant shadow covered them. I'll show you a trick, said Binky Barnes. He grabbed Arthur's favorite pin and put it in his pocket. Now you see it. Now you don't, said Binky. Hey, watch it, said Arthur, trying to look brave. Why don't you make me, said Binky, and walked away. Pick on someone your own size, called Francine, like Godzilla. Wow, said Buster. You were right. He's going to pulverize you. Do you think Binky's going to hurt Arthur? Or do you think Arthur's got a trick up his sleeve? That night at dinner, Arthur hardly ate anything. He didn't finish his cheeseburger. He didn't even want chocolate cream pie. What is the matter with Arthur? asked his father. He's worried about getting polarized, said D.W. Maybe he's been watching too many outer space movies, said his mother. But do you know why he's not eating? Does he feel nervous, maybe, about Binky being mean to him? Later on, D.W. barged into Arthur's room. Good night, Mr. Universe, she said. Haven't you ever heard of knocking, asked Arthur. After you get pulverized, can I have your room, she asked. Beat it, D.W. Oh, look, he's lifting weights, he's getting strong. When Arthur finally fell asleep, he had nightmares. Hey, boop, boop. Hey, girls, come on in. See, he opened the door for them. The next morning, Francine offered Arthur a cookie. Yuck, said Arthur. This tastes like soap and toothpaste. Ha, <laughs> April Fool, laughed Francine. But Arthur was too worried to laugh. Oh, I'll never remember my magic tricks for the assembly. Calm down, said Buster. I'll be your assistant. I'll help you if you get stuck. Arthur felt better. He could always count on Buster. But just before the assembly, Buster got caught putting sneezing powder on Mr. Ratburn's desk instead of going to the assembly. Buster went to the principal's office. Oh no, that wasn't a good choice, was it? Is Buster gonna be there to help Arthur? Oh, blew it for sure without Buster, thought Arthur. He walked into the auditorium. 
who was sitting in the front row? Binky Barnes. This was going to be worse than he thought. Arthur worried while Mr. Ratburn read people's minds. He worried while Francine and Muffy did shadow tricks. And he worried while the chorus sang that old black magic. Finally, it was his turn. For my first trick, said Arthur, I'll need a volunteer. Binky Barnes jumped on the stage. Surprise, Pip Squeak, he whispered. <laughs> Arthur gulped. <gasps> Uh-oh. Binky Barnes is the volunteer for Arthur's magic trick. I wonder what's going to happen. Arthur asked Binky Barnes to tear up a sheet of paper and put it in the magic hat. He said the magic words and he waved his magic wand to make the paper whole again. But rabbits came out instead. Oh, everybody laughed. Arthur took a bow. By mistake, flowers fell out of his sleeve. Binky Barnes laughed harder than anyone. <laughs> Is Binky being nice? No, he's not. Then Arthur had an idea. He winked at Francine. For my next trick, I will saw this young man in half. Binky stopped laughing and took a step back. My saw, please, said Arthur. Binky turned pale, which means like white. Blood rushed from his face. <gasps> Do you think they're really going to saw him in half? And now, the bucket. Binky screamed. He stepped back again. This time, he stepped right off the stage. Ah! Everyone laughed, even Mr. Ratburn. They tricked him. After the assembly, what's the matter, Binky? You left before I could show you my best trick. No thanks, said Binky Barnes. Are you sure? It lets you see things you've never seen before, said Arthur. Really? said Binky. Do you remember that trick when you hold it up to your eye? It's a good idea. He grabbed the telescope and he put, pointed it at Francine. I don't see anything. Of course not, said Arthur. You have to know the secret words. What do you think the secret words are? Tell me, said Binky. I can't, Arthur explained. They're so secret, I have to write them down. Backwards. Do you have a pen? Arthur, or, sure, here, said Binky. Arthur wrote the words. Now, go home, hold the paper up to the mirror, and you'll be able to read the secret words. Thanks, Twerp, said Binky, as he ran out the door. <sighs> Binky, he's not very nice. I wonder if he's going to fall for it. Boy! That's your best trick yet, said Buster. You didn't get pulverized, and you made Binky Barnes disappear. What did you write? asked Francine. Oh. April Fool. Oh my goodness. Look what he did. He looked through with both of his eyes, so he's got black rings around his eyes. And the note in the mirror says, April Fool. Yeah, don't mess with Arthur. He's got all the good tricks. And he was brave to stick up to Binky. Do you think Binky's going to be nice to Arthur now? I think so, too. I hope so. All right, well, happy April Fool Day.
play a safe trick on someone. Don't be sawing anybody in half, right? Have you ever seen that magic trick before? It's not real, so don't worry. You might have to YouTube it sometime. Um, we'll miss you. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. And yeah, it'll be April 2nd. We'll do a little bit of Easter stuff tomorrow. 